Hi, it's John. It's the 17th of March 2017, and I've got these gooseberry plants. Look at this. I just, uh, when I was pruning my gooseberries, say um, I was pruning a bit off like that, there, just stick it in the ground. Stuck it in as deep as it would go. Uh, about a couple of years ago, and I've got these plants. And what I'm going to do is put them on these four corners of this this allotment. That's one, two. I don't know what that is. Three. And uh, is there one in here or two? It might be two in here. Four. So I've got four, one for each corner, and then uh, one extra one. And I've got the gloves on because they're very prickly, and they'd be useful to have about gooseberries for wine, pies, and they're a lovely dessert one as well. Uh, they're so sweet that even the birds eat them. Well, I've had a slight change of plan there. I was going to put them on the four corners, but this plot this is a half plot, and it's got some very nice silt in the middle. So this bit I put one I put here, which is on a bit of clay, and then there it's a bit clay. That one in the corner there, I left it a meter in because we're not well. We don't want to be right up to the boundary, and then I put one down there right by the other fence and one there and one there which is right on my boundary which I shouldn't really do really but it's up against the fence and by the time we um, do the change the boundaries I mean I can, I'll have more gooseberry plants by then so that's got all five in I think I might just give them a bit of water I don't think need water but I think I might just give them a bit of water that little job done now I've got brought along with me this little hoe I love using this this sort of hoe and I think I just use up a bit of my energy and hoe through some land here tidy it up a bit ready for planting later Ah, that'll do for now. What it's done is it's taken the, uh, there's some little weed seeds growing. So just stop them growing and uh, make it nicer when I come back. Let's have a look around the rest of the plots. I've had these bean sticks up for about three years and the runner beans have never done very well up here. So this year I've planted some uh, climbing root veg, South, South American climbing root vegetables up here called mashua. So they'll hopefully climb up the sticks. I'll put some that side and I'll put some the other side as well. The comfrey, which is used for green manure, putting it in a, in a tub and letting it um, ferment in water, that's just coming up and the uh, cherry trees, which I did a video about, nicely pruned and this, got the buds. And um, the uh, globe artichokes don't look too bad. I'm going to take any little ones I can and put them in different places, start another area of globe artichokes. Got two 
pear trees here which I've planted at an angle so as they sort of blow with the prevailing wind and also they'll they'll take up um, they'll cover the land better because I can only grow them up to two meters high but they should cover the land and this is a rough bit of land here so it's so uh, good to get it with some fruit trees and, and in the middle there there's the column apple tree which had a lot of apples so I think it was last year or the year before and they're nice apples as well got a lot of buds on this year got to get all those shrub bushes out of there behind there and this is a very early rhubarb um, we've had some rhubarb from here and uh, well, I'm going to make some rhubarb champagne. I like it. So maybe soon, sooner rather than later. So this is some other bits of my empire. Um, these in the foreground here, these are all joster berries. Again, what I've just stuck the cuttings in from last year that was, so they're a year old now and they've done really well. And just in front of that tub, there's a Victoria plum. And someone's just told me that you don't prune Victoria plums, but I've just cut the top out of it. <laughs> See what happens. And uh, down there, there's some more rhubarb, which hasn't really done very well previously, but it's done fantastically this year. And uh, that other pot over there, I've got it all sheeted down to kill off the rubbish and then um, see, see if that's some nice silt there. So that's the other end of this, um, this nice silty bit, which is lovely soil. And this is lovely soil here, because a lot of this land up here is really horrible clay. So when you find some nice soil, that's the time to, to um, say, oh, I love that allotment. Right, bye for now.